Congratulations, Tyson. You are award of the Player of the Month September and October um, 2014. Have you ever thought of being award? How do you feel about that? Have you received any similar awards like this before joining some packages? Uh, well, first of all, it's a, a real honor to receive this award. Uh, when I first came to Sun Pegasus, it was a, a large ambition of mine to, to show my quality and to show consistency. And to win this award you know, shows to myself that I've been able to achieve that consistency and uh, a high level of performance uh, since joining the club. So I'm very pleased with that and uh, very excited to win this award. Um, I suppose you know it's a, a, a really good feeling. Um, last season at Western Sydney Wanderers, I was able to to win uh, an award similar to this, which was a, a Fair Play Award, and, and that uh, gave me a lot of satisfaction as well. So it's nice uh, to always win these uh, these types of awards, and it's something that uh, I'll certainly cherish and and look to help motivate me to continue to keep a high standard of play for, for some Pegasus moving forward. Mm, yes, that's very encouraging. So would you mind revealing who your player of the month is? <laughs> I, for me, um, I think there's been a lot of very good performances throughout the team. Uh, I would have picked Festus as my player of the, of the month. I think the consistency that he's shown um, has been very good as well. Uh, he's been very solid in, in the defence and it's been a, a pleasure to work with him. Uh, in, in keeping clean sheets and, and, uh, and defending with him uh, for the team. And uh, for me, I, I, I think Festus uh, was a great pick as well to, to win this award. Mm. Yes, um, we love him as well. Well, it's quite weird that foreign players got so popular within such a short period. How are you able to do that? What reasons do you think your fans love you so much? Uh, that's, that's a difficult one. I, when I came to, to the club, I just wanted to be myself. I just wanted to, to work hard. I just wanted to do the best that I could on the field. And I think the fans have really uh, appreciated the, the effort that I put in for the team. And, um, and it's, been, it's been very nice to be received so warmly by the Sun Pegasus fans. I have a, a huge appreciation for the, the energy that they give us during the game. And, and it's, uh, it's very exciting to be able to play for them. So um, I certainly appreciate all of their support and I'll keep working hard to, to make sure that I keep pleasing them and to, to keep doing my best for them. Mm. So you've been here for three months already. What do you think about Hong Kong football? What's the main difference compared with it in Australia? I suppose the, the biggest difference is Hong Kong is going through a bit of a, a transition period at the moment where they've rebranded the, the league to the Hong Kong Premier League. Uh, they've brought in licensing systems to, to help keep um, the stability of the league going forward, which I think is a, is a great uh, initiative by the, the Federation. And I think Hong Kong football right now is where Australia was a few years ago when they just launched the Australian A-League, the Hyundai A-League. And you know the Australian League has certainly developed and, and grown a lot. It's now in its tenth year, and the improvement has been dramatic. And I think Hong Kong football is just at the start of its sort of transition period into a real top professional league. And it's exciting to, to be here to be a part of it in its first year. And you know I hope that you know myself and uh, and the other boys and certainly some Pegasus can help grow the standard and help uh, develop the league fast. So your previous club, Western Sydney Wanderers Football Cup, win its first ever AFC Champions League. You were there for first game. How did you feel? Uh, I suppose you're incredibly proud, first of all, of the of the boys in the club uh, for achieving such a, an incredible feat. Um, you know, to win the Asian Champions League within three seasons of its uh, of its inception was a, a huge achievement and to have been at the club and to be a part of this campaign you know makes me feel you know, a lot of pride as well um, I was with the club until just after the round of 16 when they qualified for the quarterfinals and, and to see them push on and to to go from strength to strength and and to finally lift the trophy was uh, a huge uh, a huge sense of accomplishment um, you know, for the boys, and you know, I was really, I was really proud of them. Some Packers also targets at participating in Asian Games. 
Do you have confidence in that? Absolutely. You know, since day one when I started speaking to to Kalsera and uh, the management here at the club, I've been very impressed with the professionalism, with the standards that the club sets, and and certainly you know the playing group and the the coaching staff. You know, everything is very professional and very well run, and it's a pleasure to to be involved at this club. And I think it's ticking all of the boxes right now to be able to develop and push on and be successful and hopefully you know in, in the, the coming years or you know the coming seasons to, to be involved in in either uh, AFC Cup competitions or indeed the Asian Champions League so uh, it's definitely exciting times here in Hong Kong and uh, for Sun Pegasus and I'm very excited to, to be a part of it and hopefully play my part in uh, in qualifying for these very prestigious competitions. So, uh, Chuck Kimche is also a keeper of some packages. What do you think about him? Brilliant. Yeah, he's a he's a very good guy. I enjoy working with him a lot. He's a, a top professional. He, you know, does a lot of work on and off the field to make sure that he's always at his best. And it's really it's really good for me to work with someone with such a, a great mentality and, and great sense of professionalism like him. So, you know, we work hard. We have a, a great uh, camaraderie, and we have. Uh, Good spirit at training, and you know he's a pleasure to work with, and you know it certainly brings the best out of me, and hopefully I bring the best out of him. So he's a, a good guy and someone that I really enjoy working with. Mm, sounds good. So have you adapted to life in Hong Kong so far? What's the most incredible thing for you in Hong Kong, and the most annoying one? <laughs> <laughs> I've really enjoyed my time in Hong Kong so far. It's uh, an absolutely beautiful city when. I first came here. I didn't have too many expectations about what to think or, you know, how life would be. But I've certainly been very impressed with, you know, the quality of life here. I've got a, a very good balance. I think it's probably the best balance I've ever had in my life in terms of uh, life on the field and life off the field, and and that's very exciting for me. And I think that's a a big. Uh, a big factor in why I'm being able to, to perform so well on the field is because I'm very happy off the field um, and it's uh, a city that you know I'm very excited to, to be living in and somewhere that you know I like to go out and explore so certainly the city as a whole is, is my favorite thing about uh, is Hong Kong there's always something to do always places to go and in terms of things I don't like there's there's not many but uh, I suppose the, the taxi drivers can be a little bit crazy. They uh, <laughs> every time you get into a cab, you, you're not sure what to expect. They uh, they drive very fast, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's an experience. So maybe that's something that they could uh, they could improve on. Yeah. So who is your best friend here in the team? What do you play apart from football here? That's a difficult question because. I, you know, I love all my, my teammates. It's a fantastic group of players to be involved with. We work very hard on and off the field uh, for each other. Um, I suppose uh, Voynet is someone that I'm very close to because we arrived at the club both as, as import players as foreign players at the same time and we sort of had to understand how the club operates and how, uh, how Hong Kong works together and uh, we also live very close to each other, so we're able to go to trainings together, which which is good. Um, but like I said, all the boys in the team are very great. I have a great relationship with, you know, some fellow defenders like uh, Fu Hong with Festus, uh, the midfielders, and uh, and the strikers as well. So we're a very close group, and uh, and I'm very happy to be here. <laughs>